Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we will be covering the AWS Cloud Practitioner Real Exam Questions Part 5. So if you want to check out the previous parts, please uh, refer to the playlist pinned in the i button above as well as in the description box. If you also want to look, have a look at the strategy that you can have for Cloud Practitioner to clear the exam very soon as it's just a foundational course. You can also check that out. I'm doing a solution architect strategy as well as practice series in case you are interested. So let's go ahead. So let's start with today's questions. Which duties are the responsibility of a company that is using AWS Lambda? Okay. So now uh, the if you have seen shared responsibility models and all these are very important. Okay. So now coming to Lambda, it is a serverless compute service. Correct. We know all this. So now what all duties are your as at the end as a company and what are the duties of AWS Lambda? Okay. So security inside of the code. Yes, you are writing the code. So your code has to be secured by yourself only, not by Lambda. Okay. It will secure the code outside, but inside of code is your duty. Selection of CPU resources. It is not at all your duty as they are saying serverless compute service. It is um, AWS duty to uh, select the proper CPU resources, patching of operating systems and security of the infrastructure is also AWS responsibility. Coming towards company's responsibility, the inside security of the code and your writing and updating of the code, that is all your responsibility as in the company's responsibility. So the correct answer to this is security inside of the code and writing and updating the code. Okay, let's go ahead. A company is migrating to the AWS cloud instead of running its infrastructure on premises. Which of the following are advantages of this migration? You have to choose two answers. Be careful with this. Read your question thoroughly so that you know in case you are right. But read the question that you have to choose two answers. Okay. And make sure if you do not know the answer, please choose an answer randomly because there is no negative marking. In case you are right, you will get the marks. Okay. So let's go with the options. Uh, elimination of the need to perform security auditing. No, because still you need some security to manage at your level, right? So this cannot be the answer. Then increased global reach and agility. Yes, you are reaching globally through AWS. Agility is the ability, you know, to quickly provision new resources, new apps. So you can work on your frameworks. You can work on your designing, your coding. You don't have to worry about the infrastructure. Okay. So ability to deploy globally in minutes. Yes. Okay. Then elimination of the cost of IT staff members. We are not saying that uh, deploy on AWS so that you can eliminate IT staff. No, you should train them in AWS and go ahead and make them AWS sufficient to create stuff. Okay. Redundancy by default for all computer compute services. No. So the correct answer is increase global reach and agility and ability to deploy globally in minutes okay next a company needs to simultaneously process hundreds of requests from different users okay at a time hundreds of requests are to be processed by different users not a single user which combination of aws services should the company use to build an operationally efficient solution so this is highlighting towards you know distributing request so we have simple queue service which distributes request okay and operationally efficient solution we need hundreds of requests to process simultaneously okay so the best combination of these services would be sqs and lambda data pipeline and ec2 no kinesis and athena no Amplify and app sync. So these all are has has its own abilities of the services. So the point which mentions here is hundreds of requests from different users. So you should understand it is distributing request. SQS, you know, you should have that way the things in mind. Okay, this point, you should click that in mind. 
Next, what is the scope of a VPC within the AWS network? Okay, so now what is VPC? It is a logically isolated piece of AWS cloud dedicated to your company. Okay, you can run your applications in it. You have the infrastructure set up which is managed by AWS. Okay, so VPC belongs to a region and spans all AZs. So the correct answer to this is a VPC can span all AZs within an AWS region. Which of the following are components of an AWS site-to-site -site VPN? Choose two. Obviously, you have to have two components, right? So now, first coming to Storage Gateway. So what is Storage Gateway? It is a hybrid cloud storage service that gives you on-premise access to virtually unlimited cloud storage. It is has none of concern with site-to-site -site VPN, okay? So now, next coming to Virtual Private Gateway. VPN endpoint on Amazon site. Okay, this is v, VPG is what? It is a VPN endpoint of Amazon site of AWS. Okay, it's AWS side uh, endpoint that can be attached to a single VPC. Okay, NAT gateway. No, it is used to connect instances in private subnet to our uh, to the outside of your VPC. So customer gateway. Customer gateway is the other endpoint of site to site vpn okay and what is igw uh, internet gateway internet gateway allows resources in your vpc to connect to the internet okay so give a thorough read on what all these gateways are and why it is used okay so correct answer to this is virtual private gateway and customer gateway virtual private gateway on the aws side and customer gateway on the other side of the vpn okay next question a company needs to establish a connection between two VPCs. The VPCs are located in two different AWS regions. The company wants to use the existing infrastructure of the VPCs for this connection. Which AWS service or feature can be used to establish this connection? Okay, so now they are talking about two VPCs in different AWS regions. Okay. That means what? One VPC wants to talk to other VPC. Okay. So that is like VPC peering. Okay. We have already covered what is client VPN, direct connect, VPC endpoints. All these points we have covered in our previous uh, videos. So I would not uh, like to spend more time on that. So the correct answer to this is VPC peering when one VPC wants to talk to the another VPC. Okay. Next, coming to according to the uh, coming to the next question, uh, according to the AWS shared responsibility model, what responsibility does a customer have when using RDS to host a database? So, as we discussed earlier, also AWS shared responsibility model is one of the most important topic in this exam. I'm telling you this in almost all the videos. Please study this thoroughly, uh, shared responsibility model, well architecture model, all these are very important from CPP uh, exam. And uh, also to understand, as they say, foundation of AWS, okay. So now when they say, it, they want to know what is the customer responsibility, okay. So manage connections to the database, yes, it is a customer's responsibility. If you give the wrong connections, definitely things will not work, correct. So managing the connections to be correct or to be updated is all customer's responsibility. So we have got one of one hour can be answer. Okay. But do not forget to check the other points as I always say. So installing, designing, applying minor database patches, encryption at rest, installing some things. All these are AWS uh, responsibilities, okay, because AWS says don't worry about infrastructure, we will do everything and keep you, just put and pitch in your code and work. So, manage connections to the database. Next, a user needs to determine whether an EC2 instance security groups were modified in the last month. How can the user see if a change was made? Okay, so now here they are talk talking about there were some modifications done and we want to see what was the change made, okay. So, if you use EC2, there is no point, right, because EC2 is a compute service and it has a security group, but what, what were the changes will not be listed in EC2. We say user activity, okay. 
now when you see user activity first thing that should come into your mind is cloud trail okay this is a keyword remember user activity cloud trail so use aws cloud trail to see if the security group was changed is the correct answer but coming to a, uh, iam no iam is used for managing your users roles groups and all and cloud watch is not for this reason because cloud watch is for putting up your alarms check, checking up your logs but not for uh, not for tracking the user activity okay for that we have cloud trail so the correct answer is use cloud trail coming to the next question which aws service or feature acts as a firewall for amazon ec2 instances okay so now network acl network acl is what network acl acts as a firewall for subnet okay so what is eni eni is virtual network card within vpc through which you can enable network connectivity okay so and vpc you know what is vpc now i will not highlight on that please so security group so yes security group acts as a firewall for ec2 instances it controls the incoming and outgoing traffic okay okay so now coming to the next question a company's on premise application deployment cycle was 3 to 4 weeks after migrating to the aws cloud the company can deploy the application in 2 to 3 days which benefit has this company experienced by moving to the aws cloud okay so now let's go for the options uh, first of all what is it asking earlier when they had their on premise application so that time they used to deploy within 3 to 4 weeks but now after aws cloud after migrating to aws cloud now they can deploy the application easily in 2 to 3 days okay so what benefit did they get so let's see elasticity in elasticity is the ability to cope with changing demands here they are not talking about changing demands okay flexibility so what is flexibility flexibility enables you to you know select any operating system any programming language so you don't have a load on what type of what type of software i need to select you can select whatever you want okay again this is not pointing to the question resilience coming to resilience is about you know upcoming from failure you are uh, you want to recover okay anything from failure that is about resilience so agility agility is the one through which you can quickly provision new resources and apps that is the ability of agility so the correct answer is agility that's it for today we'll uh, do one more series of this cloud practitioner question series if anyone is interested in uh, learning java i have a core java playlist so please check that out and uh, i have already mentioned about uh, cloud practitioner series which is going on and even the solution architect series so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section till then stay happy let's codify with sonal in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get a notification of the updated video thank you